Yes, that's Deb flattening the first slab on our router sled. I'm going to have to put a stop on the end. <laughs> well, there it is. We are now flattening slabs at the Iron Oak Sawmill. Yeah, hold on. This was the first test piece we did. I cobbled this thing together. The table was made for a while back for uh, doing some stuff that needed precision flat work done to it. As precision as this could be. It's basically saw horses, a frame built with a sheet of three-quarter inch plywood. Last night I made up the carriage. Today I got the rails done, simple two by fours, joint it square and flat, and then plain flat. Simple rigs, probably not gonna last real long. It'll wear out fast if we use it a lot, but it'll get us going. Object of this thing is now. After flattening a few slabs, we're going to uh, going to make a table to replace this. Uh, I plan on making a workbench uh, layup table that's going to be nice and flat. So, say hi, Deb. Hi. <laughs> but it's working really nice. And we got the usual scallop marks in it from router bit. Still got a little bit more to clean up. This is just a piece we cut off a while back. Small pieces for the crafters. This was one that was left over, but a lot of nice grain in these. That's why I kept them. This is the last of them. There's burl figure in this. There's compression figure in this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the last pass to clean this up. Flip it over. And uh, get the other side done.
All right, we got the slab flipped over. We're starting on the second side. You see it sitting nice and flat on the router sled, no shims. Just uh, two blocks holding it in place. We'll go ahead and get this uh, second side all smoothed out and uh, see what we got. There's some really nice grain hiding in there, that's for sure. I have to use it for uh, one of those serving boards or charcuterie boards. It's got a built-in uh, <laughs> dip holder right there. Okay. A lot of really cool figure around there. This was just an experimental piece, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Should be able to use this for something. Hi everyone. Welcome to our wood shop, I will say. Uh, we just got done uh, doing this piece of, what is this, honey? It's just it's soft maple. Soft maple with Chuck's new router sled. Router sled. Turned out pretty nice. I actually like it. He's I gonna, like the little dip over there. And I actually told Chuck, do I have it upside down? Yeah. Yeah, you do. do I? Yeah, turn it over. Turn it over? Here. Here. That way? Yeah. I told Chuck, if you really look at this really good, yes, it looks like a pig. <laughs> you got the nose right there, the eye, and the ear. So I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks like a pig. But I, I, it actually has a lot of a... Curl. Curl. A lot of stuff. So that's what we did today and then Chuck is going to get a piece of black walnut that's sitting over there and we're going to do we're going to do that next the only thing I don't like about this router slit is the mess it makes you got to clean it up other than that it's easy uh oh here he comes oh boy. everybody welcome back to the iron oak sawmill as Deb was saying we got the router sled done it was it's made with store-bought lumber. Shame on him! <laughs> it was, uh, I had, er, everything outside wasn't, wasn't ready to be used yet. Anything heavy enough uh, was not dry enough, and I didn't want to bring it in here, work with it, and have it twist on me. So, some 2x8 framing lumber, a 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood, and a couple of 2x4s. The whole rig is set on uh, a couple of metal saw horses. And uh, it's leveled and flattened 
just right here in the middle of the shop. We're using this router slit to make us a, uh, a workbench out here slash layup table. And we'll be able to get it nice and flat with this. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm making it out of yet or what I'm going to be making. I like the split tops a lot. Uh, I may be using one of those. Then once I replace this with that bench in the middle of the room or the middle of the shop here, I can uh, use that to set up a router sled on top of it and be able to break it down. Uh, I needed to make this whole thing here to do a job. We just finished up with the, uh, the shaped edges we made for the steel desks. I don't know. I think we probably put some pictures up of those. Uh, if not, maybe I'll throw some in this video. And but, here are the two desks, mirror images of each other. The wood inlays or insets were made from resawn 150 year old barn beams. Uh, we were able to make these up really nicely and the customer was thrilled. But this then became a router sled. We ran our little test here with this uh, piece of soft maple. Uh, it's working really well. Uh, just like any other router sled, you set it on there, take care of the rock situation with some wedges, screw some blocks down to the top to hold it in place so it doesn't move, uh, so we don't have to worry about it picking it up. Just take half passes. We have a inch and a half bit in the Freud router. Uh, it's working really well. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get this uh, black walnut slab laid up here. Uh, hopefully we'll get one side of it done tonight before we head in. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Like I said, sawmill shorts, or this may not even end up as a short. we got so much footage now. Right. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for stopping out. Hey, check us out on Instagram. We now have an Instagram, Instagram account, okay? Um, iron underscore oak underscore sawmill over on Instagram. Um, we're just getting started there, so there's not a whole lot of content on it. But, hey, the more people that follow, we're planning on doing some giveaways over there. And uh, you'll see, you might see some stuff there that you don't see here on YouTube. We throw up some quick pictures there that we don't throw up here. But um, if you could check that out, it'd be great. Remember, follow us there. Um, like the videos here. Subscribe to us here. Subscribe button should be down in the corner down there. I think it's down there in the corner. Uh, and uh, make sure you share it with your friends. Okay. And when you do subscribe, it's going to come up with that little bell em emblem. Hit that. That'll notify you every time we drop a video here on YouTube. And you can be sure to tune in and check it out. Uh, hopefully everyone had a safe new year. And uh, thanks for coming out. We'll see you later next time. Love my beard. Oh my God, stop it. All right. Love my hair. <laughs> Outtakes. Start point. Oh, don't look at me, look at the camera. <laughs> you can look at me, look at the camera. Well, can we you get can, the black walnut? No. Why not? Not yet. Why? Yeah, I think you should get one. If yeah, because if it's I'll like one in, like if it's a one inch slab, you're gonna need something to She's go down. saying I should buy more tools. You heard it. <laughs>